have with us uh, Michael Lahos. Did I say it right? Uh, Mike here is from Australia and especially flown down to Ahmedabad today and we are very excited to have him. We are launching a new series of product that Rocket Automation has brought to us. It's a kinetic sort of 5-1 solution. Is that correct? Right? So uh, Mike, uh, what makes uh, kinetic 5-1 51,000, so special? That's a good question. So that, for us, the 5100 is our entry level motion offering uh, for our for the industrial automation market. Now, we do have an existing uh, offering as such, but the, the, what we've done with the 5100, we've significantly improved the product, both from a technical and a commercial standpoint, which we believe is something that you know, the market will respond well to is there any specific uh, geography or a specific customer base that you think you're targeting? Yes, you know, yes. Or it's going to help us uh, manage that business. Yes. So, so this is a product that, that we have developed uh, with, with Asia Pacific in mind. Uh, so, so specifically OEMs and specifically Asia because it's, it's what we call the mid-range or mid-range minus market. So for, for typically for OEMs that are looking at using you know, one to two axis or you know, maybe five or six axis, you know, simple control, maybe a little bit of uh, coordination required, so this product fits in very well in regards to that space. And in, in Asia Pacific, that is a large segment of the market, hence why this product for us is very exciting because we put a lot of time and energy and effort to improve what our existing offering was so we can better serve the market here in Asia Pacific. So, yes, so, so, so all of the market within Asia Pacific you know, lends itself well to this product, and specifically the OEM market. And you were uh, handling the OEM business uh, before you took on this role as a motion control business manager, right? That's because I was the OEM manager for, for the Australian New Zealand market. So yes, I'm, you know, I, I think you know, I have a reasonably good awareness and understanding of what you know, OEMs require and I, I truly believe this product, like I said, because of the improvements we've made, uh, both technically and commercially, I think our, our, our customers uh, would find it uh, a product that, they, that will suit their needs and, and provide value for their machines and their customers going forward. So you think this product will be able to address the, the standalone motion market uh, because that's always been a kind of a yes. black spot as far as uh, Rockwell's capability to address that uh, industry's concerns. So that, that's another very good question. So for, for those of you that do know anything about the Rockwell Automation product portfolio uh, yeah. from a motion standpoint, we have had a, a an existing standalone offering called the Ultra 3000 Drive, but our new offerings that have been released over the last you know, few years have, have not had that standalone capability uh, within that drive. This is the drive that will then supersede that Ultra 3000 drive and provide that functionality. So there are obviously a number of features that are now within the drive that weren't there before, such as an ECAM function, which now allows you to be camming in the drive, whereas previously you had to do that in, uh, in the controller and then to step up you know, either from a motion offering or a controller offering and then step up from a cost standpoint. Because of that now being in the drive and having that standalone capability, you're now able to do that at a lower <laughs> cost factor than you were before. So now the existing customers who uh, prefer Rockwell for their high-end machines, I think they're going to be pretty exciting getting something that they can talk to the same vendor even for their low-end machines. It's very true. So, so we're able to now also have you know, what we call a, a, an entry level motion offering that is comprehensive. So, so one of the things, that, to give you an idea that we've done from an improvement standpoint, is the power range. We're up to 15 kilowatts now, from 50 watts to 50 kilowatts. We were only at three before. So, like, so back to your question and your point in regards to our, uh, our customer base, they are able to now look at us in a serious way at that low end, the medium end of uh, the market from a machine standpoint, and provide the same quality and performance that they're used to in the high-end space as well. So we're up to 15 kilowatts, so I think that's a huge range and not many competitors in the market offer uh, that kind of power range right now. Yeah, correct. So, so obviously, some you know, 
go around that range, some below, some above. But it's something that we we identified when we looked at this product and the, and the business case around developing the product that it was a big, big improvement that we needed to to address. And yeah, we've been able to do that. So, so you were right; we're able to then more effectively uh, you know, uh, address applications that we weren't able to perform, basically. So now, do you expect uh, to go after some competitor business so that you're probably not able to convert before? Correct, correct. Because like I said before, the, the, the improvements, uh, things like the addition of an auxiliary feedback port, uh, the improvements, like I said, from a software standpoint. One of the other improvements, for example, is the selection methodology that driving the motor on our pair, which makes it a lot simpler for our customers. You don't need to go use a lot of software. Correct, yeah. correct, correct. So we're, again, we're trying to make it easy for our customer base to be able to like procure or purchase this product and make the experience possible. Also the software experience. You know, that's what we're known for, that premium integration piece. So yeah, you hear a lot in the Rockwell world, world about the connected enterprise, and this product's no different. Because it's Ethernet IP enabled, it then becomes a smart device because it's system aware and self aware. And because of that, if you're able to use our software, our Studio 5000, add on profile within that software, that, that allows you to have that premium integration. What does that achieve? Seamless data transfer, which wow. then it begins your journey. So with low end, a low end product with some high end functionality, especially Correct. as far as information uh, network is concerned. Correct. That's very true. Super. So thank you so much for uh, sharing time with you. And before you go off, since you're here with us, can you tell us a little bit about your future plans as far as uh, sure, sure. So the motion business is concerned? Sure. So th this is the first phase, uh, what we call the Kinetics 5100 and TLP. So the 5100 is the very, uh, uh, sorry, uh, servo drive. The TLP is the new motor. And it's uh, the, the first phase of this release is the 200 volt. So the future release uh, later on this year, we're looking around the August uh, time frame, mm -hmm. we'll see the 400 volt version released, the complete range from 50 watts to 15 kilowatts. And in addition to that, we'll have what we call our Kinetics 5300, which is what we call our SIP motion offering, which is our, our complete coordinated motion drive as well. So right, once that's released, we'll have a very simplified and complete portfolio. We'll have the Kinetics 5100, Kinetics 5300, the Kinetics 5500, which is our entry level uh, bus system, and our, our, our Kinetics 5700 as well. So we'll uh, be able to address a, a plethora of applications and be able to serve the market in a very effective way. Super. So um, uh, it's great to see Rockwell investing so much into the motion control business, looking after the Asia Pacific market. And uh, I think we're very excited here. We have a lot of customers who are here to watch uh, the launch of this product. And uh, thank you so much. I believe it was your first trip to Ahmedabad. Yes. And uh, I hope uh, we don't have many more. No thank worries. you so much. Really appreciate spending time with us. Much appreciate. Thank you very much.